911 does not close. It's not their uh, part of the time. That's really what makes it 911. So the question is, how is it possible to not get an answer? Calling for more than an hour and a half, a Metro Detroit family accuses two dispatchers of intentionally disrupting the system. Priya Mann in Canton as the family prepares to take their case to court. The attorney for Stephen Green says caretakers called 911 13 times but were never able to get through. Green would later die of a heart attack. Now two 911 dispatchers are being sued, accused of intentionally turning off the system. I miss him so much. He's played such a big part of my life. Dorothy Green was married for a quarter century to the love of her life. 69 year old Stephen Green was a resident at Heartland Healthcare Center and Dorothy remembers what he said to her before she left his bedside for the last time. It was snowing real bad and my husband, he always been protective of me. He said, honey, you go on home because I don't want you to be in the snow. <laughs> but Early the next morning, Green suffered a heart attack. The family's attorney says a doctor who reviewed the case believes Green would have survived had an ambulance been sent on the first 911 call. We need answers as not only just as the Green family, not only as her attorney, but as citizens, uh, as how this type of thing could ever, ever happen. The investigation reveals two separate emergency runs were missed on March 2nd. The case report states that this delay in answering the 911 calls caused an approximately eight minute delay in dispatching of emergency medical services to a CPR in progress run and was the second occurrence of multiple 911 calls being missed within an hour and a half time span. Once first responders were finally dispatched, they worked on Green for 30 minutes but could not revive him. I just could not believe that. He didn't get the help that he could because I believe he would be with me right now. He was just 69 and we had such a great life ahead, ahead of us. And I have the case report right here. It goes on to say that after discovering those missed calls, an operator told a police sergeant that something was wrong with the dispatch council and that they had discovered the volume on two phones had been turned down so they never heard them ring. Now, it's not clear why or how that happened. The family is suing for $25 million. Reporting live, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. So, Priya, what is the city saying about this? Now, Karen, the chief's office referred me to the city attorney's office. I left her a message. I went there myself, and they never got back to me. All right. Back to you. We know you'll stay on top of it. Thank you, Priya.